that crap? Are we live yet? Um, come on. Okay, cool. Seems to be good. Need to that. Here. So I'm going to do a ghetto setup again because I am lazy. I have chat on screen. And um, yeah. I think we are. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to do this to increase zoom for you guys because otherwise you won't see anything. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. So. Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and uh, this is our first live stream of uh, 2018. Um, Happy New Year to everyone who's watching this. I mean, I wished it last time, I think, I hope, probably. But anyway, Happy New Year, and um, yeah, welcome to 2018. Hopefully this year will be more productive <laughs> than the previous one, and my cat demands something from me. What do you want, cat? Okay. Um, now the idea is that um i don't really have any topics right now right so I've, I've been on vacations i've been hanging out i've been chilling i've been celebrating my birthday i've been celebrating new year whatever so i haven't thought about um streams and everything i mean i still have like the old list of topics which i don't know if it's still relevant so um if you remember last time i did a small um survey which i got right here I got some responses to it. So we got the 10 responses. Mm, really happy to see that there's no people who responded who are not interested in live streams, which is pretty cool. You know, thank you for that. And uh, now we come to the part where I'm asking how you like to see the content, right? So um, amazingly enough, the code reviews are losing. So pro tip, if you don't know what code reviews are, this is essentially the best way for you to improve as a software developer. Can't. And what are you doing? Stop. Um, but you know, since you are not interested, what the hell? We will not do it. Easier for me. <laughs> um, there are some people who are interested in the old way of doing it, but a majority seems to be on the train of um, basically what one of you guys suggested. Of you suggest a topic, you suggest the app. I build it on live stream and then do a recap video on YouTube. Which actually sounds quite fun. So we, we're going to try, we're going to go with that. We're going to try that. Okay. We've got some additional opinions here. I'm going to read that as well. Let's see. Videos on common problems sound good, but I would add videos on best practices, problems behind them. All right. Um, videos. Yeah, stop it. Go away. Um, I don't know what's up with her, but she demands my attention. All right. So yeah, videos on best practices is something that might be good. Uh, it's like, it's just, you know, uh, since I've been developing for quite a long time, uh, most of those best practices are kind of already applied on subconscious level. And unless you ask me specifically why I do that, I won't be probably even notice that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna see um, what we can do about that. Right. Let's see. I'd like to see videos that are shorter, also unrelated to live streams. For example, I think your ad blocking video is kind of short, informational, and unrelated to live streams. Okay. The content now is fine. I just like to see supplementary by other topics and videos. Another example is Shadow of War with. I mean, gaming stuff is a separate thing, so it's something I usually do on weekends. And uh, I'm I want to do more shorter like gaming vids. Uh, with regards to shorter, unrelated to live stream vids, this I'll try. But the problem is, it takes time to live stream. It takes time to record the recap of live stream, and then I would also need time to do another video. You know, I not, not always have that, but um, I'm going to try it. Love your content. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, continue what you're doing. Occasionally throwing those nuggets of useful and best libraries frameworks to use is appreciated. Okay. Um, web world needs people like you. Again, thank you. So, yeah, I think um, like the videos from the last year where I talk about Next.js and stuff like this are one of the more popular ones. So I think I'm going to Keep on doing that and if there are any new interesting frameworks or libraries i'm going to cover them that sounds like a good thing all right great channel thank uh got the content i'm not sure what that means maybe that's a typo but again thank you for saying it's a great channel okay so here's what i'm thinking since um seems to be everyone wants to or most of the people not everyone okay that's like kind of 50 50 but you know majority wins want to see viewer suggested apps built mm, we need a way to send proposals, right? So I can't just 
take everything chat says and then build it immediately because I need some preparation before that. And on the other hand, I cannot really build things that would people say, you know, like build my startup in like one evening. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So we need some sane proposals that would be short enough for me to build within one, one or two maybe live streams. Limited with two to make it a bit more flexible. And we need a way to essentially write those proposals. We need a way for people to vote on them because I want to build, you know, the stuff that more people want to see. And we need a way to discuss it, I guess. So one obvious thing was that I thought to just create a new GitHub repo called proposals and then you create new issues. But as far as I know, GitHub doesn't actually like you can vote on issues. But um, if I remember, you only see those votes if you go inside the issue, which is not very helpful. So here there is no votes and here if we go there's like one vote over here. Which is I mean okay, but you know once the number of issues gets large there's going to be a bit of a pain. I'm thinking maybe there's like a GitHub um Chrome extension or something that helps with that, but let us see. So ideas voting platform something like this. That's how it's grew up the world platform brainstorming and what amazing ideas free online tool. Um, okay, that looks necessarily complicated. Something simpler. What's the best web idea voting system? That sounds like what we need. Oh, yeah, there was a user voice, right? Um, I think it was pretty good. And that is what the Right, VS Code guys use something. And we're gonna steal it from them because they probably use a good system here. Um community press the feature and it is GitHub. No oh, wait, they had the did they migrate it to GitHub? I guess they did, right? Because I remember they used to have this stuff where they would be basically with this feature voting that Okay, I guess you know what? Let's just go low fi solutions and uh, let me see git up the upvotes in list. Um, one karma bot, karma infinity. Uh, I'm gonna see all the more upvotes. No, that's not what I mean. Let's see issue um, reactions. Is that how it's called? Reaction, yes, reactions. Um, okay, I feel like this is something that I probably will have to explore myself. But I mean, there, there has to be like GitHub Chrome extension, right? Action browser extensions, there you go. Octotree codes, no, we're not interested in code. Uh, manifest dashboard, filtering your, no, I don't care about that. Self. Do you want selfies on GitHub? Oh, okay. I mean, cannot argue with that. Isometric contribution, real names, mention highlighter, notifier, notifier, browser extension, Omnibox, hover card. What is hover card? Let's have a look at that. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, guys, if you have any questions or any um, thoughts about all this process, do let me know in the chat. I'm still looking there sometimes. So you are. Suspiciously quiet today. Okay, um, no, that is not something we want. Um, been having this bollocks with GitHub for past three days. Like for some reason, whenever I switch to another tab, it just signs me out. I have no idea why. What the hell did they change there? Git hunts. Replace your new tab. Trending GitHub repositories. That's repo size. Refine GitHub. Oh right, there was the um extension from Cinderosaurus, so that's probably what I'm looking at. Here's the question. Does it show the action avatars? Uh, features, collapse, expand, use automatic things. More action. Uh, more info at a glance. Add labels to comments, add buildings. Okay, but whatever. You know what? I can find that later. It doesn't matter. Out of GitHub. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a new proposals repo. And this is uh, 
place for proposals to build things during live streams, right? Uh, public, we're gonna initialize with readme, we're gonna say, ah, we don't need ignore here, we're gonna add MIT license and create a repo. There you go, and uh, need to edit the readme, um, edit. Call it bxjs proposals. I'm gonna say please add all your proposals um, using issues. Oh no, okay. We're gonna make it a bit more complicated, but let me just say okay, place for proposals to build things during uh bxjs live streams. So I'm gonna this and Put my link over here, right? So I actually know what the hell's going on. There we go. And uh, let's use this repo for two things. That's this way. One, add your uh, proposals using issues to vote on listing proposals, vote and, and discuss existing proposals using reactions oh, yep. travel for okay let's let's split it a bit more votes on existing proposals using github reactions three discuss existing uh, proposals in comments to the issue right um okay um yeah that's fine so what we need to do is we need to say beer and minds proposals need to um fulfill uh that is probably not how you write fulfill no it is okay <laughs> the following uh conditions right or i guess requirements requirements one proposal should be um completable no, wrong word should be doable in one or two live x approximately four hours two um oh wait i wanted to say something else but oh yeah right um uh, Proposal should be JavaScript related since we are doing JavaScript stuff. Okay, uh, preview changes, PXJS proposals, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I guess we can just do... Is this repo for... Proposal requirement. There we go. Nice, that looks good. Um changes that's fine okay so now proposals repo here mm -hmm. issues i guess we can um adjust the lay but i can i can do that later that doesn't really matter right now <clears throat> all right so we can do that uh, i need to watch that start that just so i have keep my track on it and uh Second, we need some setting stuff here as well. We don't need Vicky here. Projects here. Fine, vulnerability alerts, merge. All that stuff is also okay. Good. I think we're good. All right. Um, that seems to be it. So we can uh I'll put that so I'll do a, again a shorter recap of this live stream on. YouTube, once again, to catch everyone up who doesn't watch his live streams. Uh, even though, you know, there's not that many of you guys, which is also quite awesome. Um, but yeah, so I am going to put that in the description. Feel free to create a new issue and just write out what you want to see uh, being built on the live stream. And we can discuss it. Again, you know, if you think the project is too big, um, we can discuss it anyway, because you might be thinking it's too big, but I might know the shortcuts that would allow me to build it within like four hours. So we're gonna do that. Um, don't be afraid to do that. And uh, yeah, I think
think that's basically it. That's Go. So unless you have, <clears throat> sorry, uh, unless you have, <clears throat> God damn it. Um, okay, much better. Um, unless you have any more questions, um, we can actually wrap this live stream up here because I mean, I don't really have anything prepared aside from this. I, um, yeah. So if you have anything else to discuss, let's do this. If not, then let's wrap it up. I'll do a video like tomorrow, I guess. Put it on YouTube and next week we're going to start building whatever the hell you guys want. Uh, let's going to see how that goes. We're going to experiment with it. If it goes well, then we'll just keep up with it. If not, we can uh, try different approaches to live streams because I honestly feel like um, kind of coming up with topics myself is a bit hard. And, you know, the, the further along we go, the harder it gets because the like less and less topics are in my head and I don't know what the hell to do. So, yeah. All right. So I want to forget. Let me. Okay. Um, seems like there's no questions from your side. Uh, so, you know, let's just wrap it up at this point. Oh, hey, Gayesh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining in. Um, I just saw you subscribe right before the stream. And, you know, thanks for that. That's pretty great. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions or anything, feel free to write in the chat. I mean, I am happy to hang out more. Oh, the stream quality suddenly dropped. What the hell is going on here? My internet is dead or, or something. Google. Oh, no, my internet seems to be working. I... Okay, I think maybe it's working, but okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, again, feel free to, um, you know, ask any questions or whatever you might have in mind. If you don't have anything in mind or not have any ideas, then let's just wrap it up, write your suggestions to the new GitHub uh, repo. And next Wednesday, we're going to start building them. And um, yeah, let's see how that goes. Right. I guess I'll take that as a no questions, no suggestions. And we're just going to wrap this up here. As usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh, definitely would drop that on Discord as well. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I try to announce that as much as possible everywhere. So uh, that should not be a big problem. But yes, this is a good point. I should not forget about that. <laughs> should post this link everywhere and uh, describe a bit what it does along with the video. Okay. Um, but yeah, sounds good. Right. Seems like no more questions, suggestions, anything. There was a very, very short live stream. But yeah, since you know, we don't really have anything to do. Let's just wrap it up and go have a nice evening. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And as usual, I see you next time. Bye.